you know, I think there's something to the idea of starting over um, or starting back at the beginning, starting with the basics, because too often we forget the basics and go right on to try to pursue our goal um, because we're impatient or whatever reason, but there's something to making sure that we have the basics down. And that, that applies to so many different things in our lives. I know for me, um, a couple areas that, that I've been thinking about that in is one with running. Um, you know, the last few years I've been really focused on trying to get in more miles. I've done a few different ultra marathons, you know, hundred milers, um, a handful of marathons and, and um, half marathons but I kind of skipped right over 5K and 10K. <laughs> and I jumped right to, um, you know, the, the, lar the larger races. And what I have found in the last few years is that I'm doing a lot more walking than running. And I've really, when I do run, I've really lost my speed. And so I thought it would be fun to actually start out the year training for a 5K. So I'm going to do an eight week, eight week training, training plan and uh, in March run a 5K and really work on speeding up my, my pace, running faster. Um, but that applies to so many things in life, not just something like running where you wanna try to get better at something, but also, um, you know, in our spiritual lives or in our work lives, um, there's something to, you know, especially spiritual lives, you know, as believers, we can sometimes work ourselves to death trying to be a better Christian or, um, you know, pray, pray enough or um, do whatever, read enough scripture, whatever it is, when I think sometimes it's the basics that really count. You know, it's the fact that you spend time with Jesus every day. Um, it doesn't matter if it's 10 minutes or an hour at a time, you know. I know for me, I'm not the best prayer person. Like I, I, I don't sit down and just spend an hour praying. I kind of pray throughout the day when I'm driving in the car. Um, you know, if something's on my mind, I pray about it. If we can just get back to why is it that you're doing what you're doing um, and, and figure that out and work that out, um, then, then we can grow in that area. Um, same thing with work. Like I, I can be so busy with busy work uh, and that can come even in the form of being paid. Um, you know, whether it's me saying yes to projects um, just so I can pay my bills instead of really seeking discernment and, um, you know, waiting for those projects that come along that really are fulfilling to me. That instead of just they're taking up my time so that I can pay a bill, I'm actually enjoying working on them. Or, you know, so there's a lot of those kind of things like that, I'm sure I'm not the only one that struggles with that kind of thing. Um, especially someone like me who, I love helping people. I, so I, it's so easy for me to say yes, to do something for somebody, to help somebody. Um, but I actually need to learn to say no. I can't do everything for everybody. Um, because then what I'm finding is that I don't, um, I'm not able to focus on things I wanna do for myself. I am going to take you on a journey this year. I'm gonna do a video vlog video vlog a video blog a vlog <laughs> and I want to take you along with me it'll cover a, a wide range of topics but how do we get back to the basics whether it's in running whether it's in your work life whether it's in your spiritual life um, whether it's in growing healthy um, how do we start with the basics and get those accomplished and do well at those and then allow that to help us grow um, it more in depth in that area I'd love to have you come along with me. So push subscribe uh, so that you'll get notified anytime I post a new video and love, like uh, this video, comments. It all helps. It all keeps me encouraged as well. See you later. Bye.